Hey everyone, my name is James and welcome back to Chippy's Couch. So today, we're back for the start of a brand new Terraria adventure. That's right, it's a brand new world and also a brand new mod. So, making its debut here on Chippy's Couch for the very first time, we're going to be taking a look at the Fargo's Soul mod. Now, Fargo has a couple of mods, we're playing just the Soul mod, and I've had no experience really with any of them, but I was recommended this one because of one very special feature which I know you Calamity fans are going to really like. So Fargo Soul Mod, it adds in a bunch of accessories into Terraria and some enchantments, which may not sound that interesting when you're comparing it against Supreme Calamitous, but it adds in a new mode called Masochist Mode. Masochist mode is going to change the way you play Terraria. Enemies are going to be different. Bosses are going to be different. Enemies are going to be in different places. There's going to be debuffs. It's going to be a real challenge and a challenge I'm quite looking forward to. So I'm going to throw down the gauntlet. I'm very much looking forward to what we're going to do here. So I think what I need to do is destroy this statue or speak to this man and get myself this star, because this star is what's going to start the mode. Now, before I do that, I am a little bit worried. Usually, I go into a series, and I've got a copper short sword, and I'm loving life. You know, I'm not really too worried, but I feel like I need to make a bow and arrow, because I know that the first enemy I'm going to run up against is going to slaughter me, and I kind of want to prevent the onslaught of deaths. I know they're coming. The death counter... It will be broken, and you guys are going to have a hard time keeping track, but we're going to do it. Right, if I can even make it past these vanilla slimes, we're going to be good. So I'm in expert mode currently, so I should be able to enable it. So I'm going to destroy this statue, and it gave me mutant statue, and also mutant gift. Use this to turn on or off masochist mode. <laughs> I'm ready. I am ready for this challenge. I've been ready for a little while. I've secretly been wanting to do this since somebody brought it up. But um, I let you guys vote on what would come next. And I kind of tried to uh, skewer the votes a little bit. I put Calamity in the Forium right at the top. Surprisingly, that won the, uh, the poll. It wasn't meant to uh, because we've just done those mods. But it's nice to know that you guys are so hung up on it because it was such a good little time. Massacus mode has been initiated. So I don't know any of the effects. I've never seen anything about this mode other than the fact that you guys have recommended it. So I didn't know if it was going to be, all right, slimes are uh, a tougher now, or they have more health, or they do more damage. So we're going to experience that as we go along. So to start this adventure, what I'm going to need to do is find myself a cave, because what I would like to do personally is get underground Start collecting some ores so that we can make like a basic set of armor. Hey, look at this day bloom. Look at this. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. But some basic accessories would be pretty good. Some like boots, uh, a double jump, something like that. But you never know. Whatever your world will give you, it will give you. This looks uh, almost man-made. It looks like somebody's uh, used the KO cannon from the juice mod and just created a tunnel down. This seems uh, too good. To miss up on right now looking at pewdiepie pewdiepie has been playing shirari recently and the first thing he built was a tunnel that looked like this just going all the way down so this seems this seems right this seems good i got an annoying wand of sparking some grenades and some torches is that the perfect first chest i would probably say no right well clearly nothing on this side so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use my recall and i'm gonna try and head Potentially down here. Let's see what's down here. Is this going to be the start of a cave? It actually looks like it could be. There's not very many uh, worlds that have nice entrances like this. So I kind of have low expectations. What's inside of here? So we've got an umbrella and a swiftness potion. All right, I'll take it. I mean, the umbrella is pretty good because you can avoid fall damage and, uh, and that can be pretty useful. But I don't feel like masochist mode is going to be... All right, fall damage is, is even harder now because gravity works differently. I, I really feel like it will be about the debuffs. Lethargic, your weapons feel sluggish. All right, I see where you're going, Fargo. You're going for that approach, right? You're going to debuff me. Well, we'll see about that. So I'm going to take little moments to um, 
to just grab as much ore as possible. I'm using a vein miner in this series because I know that I'll be using a lot of uh, ores. Now, if you've ever seen me before, you'll know that I'm not the biggest digger in the world. Like, sometimes I dig, sometimes I don't. Most of the time, I don't. Because I'm like, I don't need basic armor. I'll survive. But it will probably be crucial within this. There's a, uh, a dart trap there. I'm kind of nervous of everything. I'm like, a dart trap, right. How's Fargo going to kill me with that one? Fam, just try it. Just try it. <laughs> so, with this series... It's not going to be every single day, unfortunately, because as many of you know, I'm actually going to be a... Uh, ho -ho! Die to a boulder straight away. All right. Well, you know what? Mod or no mod, a boulder's going to kick you around a little bit. Got to be got to be a little bit more careful of that one. So this world isn't kind of giving me a cave straight away. So I feel like this beginning part is going to involve like a lot of mining making our own fortune but as i was saying i'm off away so what i'll do is i'll pre-record a couple of episodes just like have a little bit of fun with it but i won't do too many and then what we'll do is we'll uh we'll pick up when i'm back but you know me once i'm back i'm going to be into it full swing so what are we going to find i want to find honestly something that's going to secure us pretty quickly so why is this water draining out well it's because the world is is opening up this is good i like it when you don't have to mine too, too far to, to, like, get to the next cave. That's pretty decent. I feel like everybody can appreciate that. So we have got some rope. So I'm going to rope my way out of here so that I've got a nice entrance way. Because I don't really want to die from, um, from just drowning. That's not too great. Okay, so, like, exploring through the world, things are already getting a little bit tense. So I was in some water, and then the water decided to freeze me. It was like, all right, you're too cold. We're going to let you die. I managed to survive. So freezing in cold water, that is something that's new. Calamity does something like that, but it's not quite freezing. And then look what I've got down here. <laughs> Wall creepers. Like, that's not exactly what you want. In an expert mode, these boys, uh, they fling. You know what I mean? They just like, they shoot stuff at you. As you can see, it's kind of going for it. I want to see if I can uh, do a little bit of damage before... It flings stuff. Actually, this is a risky game. And I can't even get out of here. I think I'm going to leave this. I almost thought, you know what? You're going to be able to get in there. You're going to get yourself a web slinger. You're going to Peter Parker your way out. I don't think that's going to happen. But I see a cave entrance over here. So I think I'm going to work my way there. And, um, and explore onwards from there. Because looking at that. That does look a little bit promising. It does look good. And then if I'm going this way, I'm avoiding the water too. So... You know, big brain stuff. Ooh, okay, I was right about that. So this looks like it's going to be a glowing mushroom biome. These are usually pretty good to me, I would say. I'd say, like, at least half of the time, you're going to get a chest or something decent. But if it's, like, a bad time, enemies there can be, can be pretty tough, right? <laughs> like, what's this mod going to throw at me? I feel like the anticipation of not knowing is, is the scariest bit. You know, when you're kind of like, you know, wandering into the unknown. It's it's tense, right? Not knowing if a bat is going to grow legs and, and kick the hell out of you. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it could happen. I've seen stranger things with mods. Okay, so right now we have a whole bunch of slimes and also a bat. So what I want to do is I want to open this up and start trying to uh, to kill off some of these enemies. And I think this should reveal to us, like, what the intentions are with these. Like, are they going to do something wacky before they die? I'm going to slowly find out. This is going to take forever and a day, though. I almost feel like I should probably make some flaming torches. Because I don't think I'm going to get by like this. This is not going to be good. So let me uh, slap that down. Let me get some of these bad boys. Nice. Thank you very much. So let's see what kind of damage we're doing now. It's basically the same. <laughs> You're pretty weak at the start of Terraria. You know, I've been going from this, like, uh, a million damage a second <laughs> to, like, using a, a wooden bow. Man, what will the title be? You know what? I'm actually going to drop a grenade down instead. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that sucked. Let me, um, let me open this up. I'm going to get some rope. We're going to do this. We're going to do some parkour, all right? We're going to... Oh, God. This is so tense already. 
Okay, we need to get on the rope, destroy this last block, and then we're going to grenade it down. Did I kill the snail? <laughs> I wasted my, like, only good grenade on a snail. You must be joking. There's almost, uh, there's too much here to kill. Is this a vanilla Terraria thing? Is it not? I'm thinking about cheating the system and, uh, and actually building around these guys. <laughs> maybe not, maybe not. Well, here's how we're going to cheat the system, lads. We're going to get back here before anything else can spawn. That's my pro strat. At the, uh, the start of the yo-yo series, I was, like, trying to, um, maneuver my way around the jungle. And I was completely weak and, like, out of my, uh, my comfort zone. I feel like that, but just everything feels like the jungle. Or, I, like, I'm making it feel like the jungle. Oh, wow. May her maze boots. Thank you very much. Appreciate ya. That is actually a really good find for a first proper chest. Hermes boots. <laughs> Pretty good. Right, I knew this would be a boulder. I knew it. I was like, no way is this not a trapped area. Two boulders as well, though. Like, what are the odds? Okay, well, I guess the adventure press is on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let's just get rid of this. Do we? Yeah, we're dead. Never mind. We're dead. But with these uh, Hermes boots... With the ability to run fast, I feel like you can do a lot with that. I feel like if you're if you're clever enough, you can probably jump over summit and get summit good. So I think instead of heading straight down, I'm going to um, take an umbrella like this. And I'm just going to go like explore left and right just to see what the world's about. I'm going to try and play Terraria a little bit differently this time. I'm going to go a little bit more aggressive with the way I'm playing. To see if I can do things a little bit differently. Because, you know, if we're doing something fresh, maybe we should change our uh, our way as well. Although I do feel slow right now. But I think that's simply because my momentum has been reset. Ooh. <laughs> Alright, that's not great. Then you can see that. But uh, the world seems to be a little bit freaking out. I don't feel like it knows what's going on. Do you think that's normal? <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. What have we got on us right now? Bleeding. Bleeding. It gives you boy a bleeding. Really? Well, unless I've got bombs, I don't think it's worth going that way. Alright, well that was a that was a good test. Learned a lot. Bleeding though. That's in, that is pretty intense. I'm being um sensible right now. I'm gonna make a, a wooden box so that when it hits night time. I at least don't die to like a million zombies. Do you know what I mean? I feel like this is a this is a good step. And do you know what? I don't know if it's just me. Maybe it's you as well. But does anybody else struggle to make a wooden box house and um, and then not make a second wooden box house on top of it? Do you know what I mean? I feel like it's like almost a sin to not go. All right. Well, I've got one wooden box and then. We could just put another wooden box <laughs> right on top like this. <laughs> like you're some kind of architect. But this is not a good looking house. Chaos would not be very happy. Chaos has been away, as many of you might know, since he's been moving from Japan to America. So while he's away, we can just tarnish his name by building this. <laughs> the master builder will never see and will get away with it. All right, that's my wooden box for later. So far, though, these slimes have been pretty chill. I don't feel too bad around these guys. I thought that these were going to be, like, a real nuisance straight away. But it's been all right. It's been fine. All right, let's find what's to the left of the world. This is, like, the perfect cliff to just dive off. Ooh, cactus armor. That's a good point. Oh, okay. Cactus is actually prickly. I was actually so good at the other day. So I've had a cactus since I was... I want to say 18, maybe 19... Courtney got me these two cactuses, tiny cactuses. I always forget to water them, but I kept them alive for many years, right? Big up me. Keeping a cactus alive is probably one of the easiest things in the world. And I keep them in my back room, right? I don't know what, what you'd call it. A cleaning room, a laundry room, utility room. I think it's called a utility room, right? And it went... <laughs> I've got to remember about the cactuses. That's going to be a problem. Anyway, plot twist. I went in. And one was just on the floor, just scattered everywhere. There was soil, 
there was dead cactus. I still don't know what caused it. A strong wind, maybe? It's been in there living its best life for years at this point. I've lived in this house for years. And it was just there. It was just dead. I came in and I was like, cool. When, you, when were you going to tell me that you murdered my cactus? She was like, I didn't. Doubt. I hope, by the way, that if cactus deals damage to us, I really hope that when we uh, we wear it, it either does damage to us still, or it does damage to, uh, to enemies. See, back in the day, I swear cactus actually... Oh, no, wait. I can remember what it is, right? So back in the day... You couldn't walk past cactus. It was like a solid block, I think. So you had to mine it every time, and it was a bit of a, a bit of a nuisance. Oh, look at this piranha! Right, if this piranha could give me a hook, all right. Well, it didn't. I was gonna say if it could, we're in luck because that would have been spot on. All right, let's see if I can loot the jungle real quick and just grab anything. Truth be told, if anything grabs me, I'm dead. Oh, another chance at a hook though. That's too good to miss out on. Okay, no hook. But I did get night owl potions. See so you mobile viewers. You're all set. Usually there's a, a natural cave system down to every jungle. It's quite convenient. It's why I like the jungle so much. So if I can just find one of those. Hold an umbrella. And just go straight down. That'd be great. I'm trying to circle onto this. Because I can see something in the water. I'm not too... Whoa, what is that? I don't know if you guys could see that, but it was just on the right of the screen just then. Yeah, what? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Since when did jellyfish do that? What even is that? It makes sense why this area was so illuminated now. I'm being poisoned from being in the jungle water. <laughs> I do not want to be anywhere near that. This jungle's really cool, though. It's got a, a good vibe to it. I want to try and get out of it, though. So what I'm going to do is we're going to kill this jungle slime and we're going to kill this piranha. And I'm going to pray, basically, for... Um... Oh, i got so many throwing knives. We're going to pray for that hook. Because if I could get a grapple hook and I've also got an umbrella, I didn't get my hook. But if I could get all of that, we'd be so set so quickly. Okay, jungle life is getting a bit out of control. <laughs> I want to come back though. I'm kind of tempted because I feel like this will be our natural cave down. Okay, I'm doing it, lads. I'm fearless. So I'm just going to keep swapping between torch and umbrella. Ooh, a shiny boy and a night owl. It's your best day. Okay, <laughs> get enchanted. Ah, a magic mirror. You know what? I wouldn't have, uh, have optionally picked it for my very first item, but... I will take it because it will come in useful. Oh my god. Is that... Oh my god, that's full bees. Right. Oh my god. I can't compete against full-size bees. <laughs> like, what are you meant to do against that? It's not even just... Like, it's a mossy one as well. Like, they're even more fierce. I am so tempted by the jungle now. We are not jungle ready. But I've got to try it. <laughs> I tell you what, next time I get there, I'm going to bomb it so that I can, like, open up to the world. So you guys are going to have to give me some feedback, right? I'm not going to start pre-recording until you guys have seen this episode anyway. But um, give me some feedback in the sense of, do you mind if these episodes, we don't necessarily get so much done? You know, it's not like a boss fight every episode. If you want to see me just, like, kind of goof around, do let me know, because I'm kind of, uh, I'm feeling that right now. I'm definitely in that kind of, uh, that mindset. Just to, just to kind of, like, have fun with it. You know, it's something new. I don't really know too much about it. That's, like, the best bit as well. It's always good to, like, try something that you haven't tried. You know, it's, it's a fresh feeling. It's good. It feels good. So, our look might have ended here. If I can quickly get past these. Ooh. We'll grab that in a little bit. At least we know it's here. What I'm really trying to get to is uh, is basically safety, like any kind of security. Got to be super careful because this water poisons us. So it's not like you can just walk through it and be like, all right, fine. Like we got quite little health. So I want to hold on to as much of it as possible. What I'm really trying to do now is scout out for chests, basically. Just any kind of chest. Oh, <laughs> I really thought I could... Um, Swing down here, but there's two life crystals, so that is... 
That's actually really good to know. I feel like we're gonna we're gonna advance pretty quickly here, doing this kind of like maneuvering system. Although I did just use my Spelunker potion, so I think that's gonna um that's gonna be it for today. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this first little look at the Fargo's Soul mod, and um and hopefully you guys will continue supporting this adventure. I'll treat this as like a pilot episode, and if you guys are uh. A super responsive to it if you give the video a bunch of likes and the vibe is good we'll um we'll press on with this because it seems like it's good fun but you know you never know right you want to see what other people think about it right so i think that's gonna be it guys thank you so much like i said if you did enjoy be sure to give the video a big fat thumbs up and if you are new around here maybe consider clicking the subscribe button right see you in the next one guys peace